Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plexus uh, 3D Shadow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This uh, lesson is uh, lesson 14 and in this lesson we are going to explain how can we estimate the allowable bearing capacity of foundation based on settlement. So if you remember we, when we talked about the ultimate bearing capacity of a full scale shallow foundation we see that it needs uh, to reach a very high amount of settlement to reach the ultimate load or uh, until the shear failure of the soil happens uh, that's why uh, in most of the case especially in full scale shallow foundation the bearing uh, the settlement or allowable settlement of the foundation controls the ultimate or the allowable bearing capacity of the uh, foundation so what uh, we do in uh, what we are going to do in this tutorial for example uh, if we uh, we will uh, impose a settlement to the shallow foundation for example if we uh, open a lesson 7 and open the excel file uh, we see that uh, this a uh, load settlement uh, care for let me delete these lines first this one also in a dry uh, condition sorry so this load uh, settlement curves uh, load the settlement care from a uh, lesson uh, 7 we uh, see that uh, the settlement of the foundation is very high uh, corresponding to ultimate bearing capacity in this example we will uh, open the uh, plexus uh, file also in uh, lesson uh, 7 okay so we will uh, save this example under a different name we will uh, save in uh, lesson 14 save okay so and we will also uh, we can uh, select a curve uh, to make the load uh, displacement curve after the calculation 0 0 10 okay and we click on the plate update and now it is uh, ready for uh, calculation so we start the calculation And we will wait until uh, the calculation being finished and uh, to I think uh, it wouldn't uh, take a very long time as uh, uh, example or lesson uh, 7 because uh, the calculation uh, steps are uh, much fewer So the calculation uh, finished as we can see in here and to see the how much the amount of the uh, uh, load is uh, needed to uh, to uh, reach uh, this amount of displacement we can click on here and click on edit phase in here we can see it for example uh, the amount of force which we need is uh, 200 uh, 2267 so FZ equal 2267 kilonewton 
and we have to uh, divide the, this force by the area of the foundation so uh, Q allah will, will become this load divided by 9 it will be about 251.88 so we can see it is very close to this value it is almost uh, similar and also we can uh, draw the load uh, settlement curve uh, for this example we go to view calculation results and we can see in here uh, the settlement is 0 0.01514 uh, millimeters because we uh, we gave uh, this uh, displacement to the uh, plexus and we can uh, draw the curve by going to curve manager <coughs> and click on new so in uh, the x direction we click on force which is in fz z direction because we uh, gave prescri prescribed displacement in z direction that's why uh, the program calculates uh, the force in z direction and in y direction we go we select the node which we selected before so like that Thing maybe we do some changes in here like that so this is uh, a settlement or displacement of the foundation and this is uh, the amount of uh, the force so when we uh, convert this data to Excel we copy this data and we can copy in sorry we copy this data control C and we paste in here we delete the point and steps so this is uh, the load and this column a settlement so in uh, this case in this case we will uh, so right now uh, uh, draw this uh, load uh, settlement curve on the same figure so in here you can say it is uh, prescribed settlement or displacement we have the load in the x direction and we have a settlement in here okay so we can see it is aligned with the load uh, settlement curve uh, from the tutorial uh, from lesson 7 so this example uh, shows how can we calculate or estimate the allowable bearing capacity of the foundation from uh, based on the settlement criteria or allowable uh, settlement so this was for uh, this example and i hope it was beneficial as a previous example and uh, thank you for watching uh, see you in the next uh, lesson